Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to try my best to see how I can explain to SS1 students a simple process of balancing chemical equations. And we have two chemical equations here. This is to the best of my knowledge for secondary school. And right in secondary school, I love everything that has to do with hydrocarbons. This is why I choose hydrocarbons here. And another thing, I have uploaded thousands of videos related to physics, biology, engineering, and so many other mathematics related fields. But I cannot remember even once uploading any content related to chemistry. This is why I choose to balance chemical equations in this tutorial. Um, this is a combustion process, right? Of hydrocarbons in the presence of oxygen. So this is what propane, a combustion of propane in the presence of oxygen to give what uh, carbon dioxide and water. But we have learned that, I can remember, I can still remember, that atoms are conserved. But why are they not the same? Because you can see we have three atoms of carbon here, but we have only one atom of carbon here. So why is the other two carbon atoms? They are still there, but we are only given the chemical formulas. We are only given the chemical formulas. This is propane, this is oxygen, this is carbon dioxide, this is water. But to determine the number of atoms in the process, that is where we have to balance the equation. So let me take the first one, which is C3 H8 plus O2. We have CO2 plus H2O. All right. Um, from left to right, left hand side, right hand side, we have how many elements? Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? How many atoms of carbon do we have to the left? We have three. Hydrogen, we have eight atoms, and we have two atoms of oxygen. And to the other side, you can see we have one for carbon, we have two for oxygen, uh, hydrogen, we have two, and you can see oxygen has two here and one here making three. How do we balance it? Because you can see they are not balanced. So let's start with carbon. Since we have one here and we have three here, this is why we need to compensate. So we have to multiply this by three to make it three. And you can confidently attach the three here. So we have just balanced the carbon. Let's move on to the hydrogen. You see we have eight here, right? But we have two here. How can we balance it to make it eight? We can multiply this by two, oh no, four. Multiply this by four, it, make, it becomes eight. Attach eight here, eight times two, eight. No, four, sorry. Four times two, making eight. But what about oxygen? We have two here, but if you pay attention, since we have some coefficients, the atoms of oxygen will change from three. So let me just remove this one. Oxygen, two times six, two times three is six. So we have six here. Four times one is four, making 10 altogether. So we have 10 here, <laughs> but we have only two here. So we need to multiply this by five to make it 10. And where is oxygen here? This is five. So is it balanced? Yeah, everything is balanced. Let me just write it. C3H8 plus 5O2. Um, we have three here, CO2 plus 4H2O. Now all the atoms are available in this process. Now coming here, let me rewrite it. C4H10, this is butane, right? I don't even have to write it. 
How many carbon atoms do we have here? Four. But how many do we have here? Only one. So you can multiply this by four. You see, we have balanced what? Carbon. Four atoms each. Then how many hydrogens do we have here? Ten. But how many do we have here? Two. If you multiply this by five, if you multiply this by five, five times two will give us ten. We have balanced the hydrogen. Oxygen we have two here. But how many do we have here? Four times two is eight. Then five here, right? Making what? Thirteen. We have thirteen all together. Uh oh, but we have only two here. So what can we multiply by two to get thirteen? Definitely thirteen over two, mathematically speaking. So this is thirteen divided by two because thirteen divided by two times two will give us thirteen. But we don't want fractions. To clear the fractions, we can multiply every single term by two, which is the denominator. So this times two, two h four. Uh, sorry, what's this? C four h ten plus 13, if you multiply 13 over 2 by 2, it becomes 13. O2, we multiply by 2, this becomes 8. CO2, this becomes 10. H2O. We have to cross-check again. Carbon, we have 2 times 4, making 8. Already we have 8 here, balance. Hydrogen, we have 2 times 10, 20. Hydrogen, hydrogen, 10 times 2, 20, balance. 13 times 2 for oxygen, we have 26. 8 times 2 is 16. Then here we have uh, 10, right? If you add, you get 26. Everything is now balanced. So this is the balance equation for this reaction. Isn't it beautiful?